Good morning, everyone. Wandering American here. I hope y'all are doing good today. I uh, thought I'd throw this video up. Everybody's been hollering for a video. So I was going to show you what I've been doing. I've got, as you can see behind me, I've got a lot of pallets. I have, I have more over here. Now, uh, to tell you, catch y'all up with what I've been doing, a lot of you know that I, I rescue animals, and I've got some piggies over here. The, the cage that they are in, they've torn up, gone under, filled fences, just does not work for piggies even pot belly piggies, which is what these are. I have two females and a male. I have Miss Piggy, Piggy Sue, and Baconator, because he's a male and he's always trying to make more bacon. Uh, so, they don't like to stay in their confined area. So, that's my next major project. It's going to be uh, the pig pen. But what I've been doing is I've been going around collecting pallets. Everybody knows that the, the lumber prices are outrageous. Like I've told everyone, I, I do not have a job. I don't have an income. Uh, I depend on donations and <laughs> my personal angel. She, uh, she helps me with everything. But the tools that I've used, and I, I'm, I'm wanting to... to give you an idea on how you can accomplish some of your goals uh, currently I'm building a chicken coop and these are the tools that I take with me I've got the rope to help tie the pallets down of course the bug spray the my dad's tape measure I lose this I'm all I'm gonna be broken-hearted but uh, tape measure is necessary if you're doing it in a vehicle like this that way you can save some muscle power and use brain power instead measure it before you try and put it in there find out it ain't gonna fit uh, the ropes the straps to tie everything down uh, some of the pallets uh, the places there where I go they'll let me break the pallets down so I can fit more wood in there uh, some of them are stapled together so you need the clips to uh, clip the staples the slippers the slippers I use on the glass uh, if any of the wood bumps the glass I put the slipper in there and it's no big deal if I lose it but it's got some cushion to it to help protect the glass as you can see I've got my passenger seat folded down because I've been getting some wood like this here this one I actually wound up strapping on top of the car. Uh, there was a yard guy that helped me get it up there. Um, this is some of what I get. Now, on this stack here, the, the yard man cut them up before he was told that I wanted them. But it's okay, I can still use them. Even though the heavy board has been cut, I still use these to fill in the spaces between the slats. So now that I've shown you this, I, I really lucked out on this one. Um, let me show you what I'm doing over here. This is some of the pallet pieces that I've already taken the pallet apart. And these have to be prepped for me to use I've got to get the staples out and I've got to get the nails out now on some of these I have been able to reuse the nails but not all of them and you you must be very careful uh, if you watch how you lay your materials down like a iron tooth rake you don't lay it with the teeth up you lay it with the teeth down that way if you step on it you don't get knocked in the noggin uh, so be careful when you're doing all of this. You don't want to get hurt. These, I got really lucky. 
these are actually boxes that um, air conditioning equipment came in and I had the lids for them over here. I haven't really decided what I'm going to use them for. I'm thinking maybe nesting boxes for my hens. But that's the, the two lids there. Now, we're going to go around back over oh, here. Let me show you this first. This is like soffit or underpinning for a mobile home. Uh, I'll be using that. I'm, I'll cut it in half and I'm burying part of it uh, to prevent uh, critters and insects and stuff from getting into what I'm building. Uh, this, now I know darn good and well, that's corner beading for drywall, but what I'm going to be using it for is a drip edge along a roof. Uh, let's see, what else do I have out here that I'm using? Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work. It really is. But, like I was touched on a second ago, um, got the boogie boogie out with me. She's doing her protective chihuahua thing. Um, but what I was saying was with the lumber prices like it is, you cannot be free. And if you will go to businesses where you notice a lot of pallets stacked up in the back or by the back gate or by the dumpster or whatever, please go inside and ask, okay? It, ask to speak to the manager. That way there's no confusion later on if you're discovered back there getting pallets. Go to the manager of the business and as we say in the south, you collect more flies with honey than vinegar. Be very polite. You know, tell the manager you're you're wanting to know what they do with their pallets and you're willing to haul them off for free for them because a lot of them have to pay to get them hauled off or they'll have to pay someone to cut them up and throw them in the dumpster and then they've got the dumpster fees. So you're helping them by saving them money and they're helping you get free material. Uh, there's a lot of good wood in here and I really need to show you this. I'm building animal pens. Now, you really cannot beat a post like this for free. And I've got several of those. And it depends on what type of business you go to. I go to an air conditioning business and a refitting outfit for a convenience store chain that we have around here. And I spoke with the managers and got permission to get the pallets. So all of this wood is free. Now the flip side of the free wood is all of the prep time that goes into getting it ready to be used. So I'm going to walk you out here and show you what I'm doing with it. Alright, so we are out behind the shed. And this is what I'm doing with all of that pallet wood. You have to excuse the mess. I'm still cleaning up after everything got raided. There's a fence back here. And it comes up here. This is what I'm building. Now, a lot of this, every bit of this, is reclaimed wood. So, if you see above my head, it's not even. But, I've got a skill saw. Once I get this the way I want it, I'll take the skill saw out and I'll trim the edges back and make it all one length. Uh, but, every bit of this building is reclaimed wood. This is my chicken coop. I have gone around all three sides here. Same thing on this side up top there. But I have gone around and built a fence and what I'm going to be doing is once I get this roof trimmed back, I'll be going from the roof to the top of the fence with chicken wire and these slats the slats from the pallets I'll be using to fill in 
the space between the boards like I'm doing on the inside and I'll give you a, a look at that uh, like I said every bit of this has been reclaimed I have to come back and cut the nails off I was in a hurry with a lot of this <laughs> however it is a very very sturdy building very sturdy uh, we deal with hurricanes here in Florida so yeah there's probably my weight in nails in this thing all uh, right let me show you this what this is as a lot of you may be familiar when you go into the convenience store Romeo sorry I've got a Chihuahua in heat and a Doberman who's lost his mind um, this is the fountain drink machine light They'll, they'll put a piece of plastic with whatever type of fountain drink down here. It's Polar Pop. Uh, but that's from that refitting outfit that I'm getting some of the pallets from. Same thing with the pressed board. The pressed board was actually part of some of their shipment stuff. Um, you may or may not see the holes in the roof. Now, when I get the skill saw out, I'm going to be going in and trimming this up and fitting a piece of wood in there so that that gap is not like that. And then I've got tar paper that I will be covering it with. Tar paper is not in the best condition, as you can see, but I've got a utility knife that I'm going to be trimming that up with and uh, putting up on the roof. And I'm only hauling up the good stuff, so I'm not uh, hauling up crap I'm going to be throwing back down. So, yeah, here it is. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. But I've got 15 chickens. I've got uh, 8 hens and 7 roosters. Yeah, try, uh, try sleeping through that. Don't always work. Uh, but I'll be, I'll be putting dividers in here and setting up nesting boxes. I'm considering using, this is other material that I'll be using in here. Uh, bed frame. See the bed frame? That might be one of my walls. I don't know yet. Still working on details. But, yeah. Every bit of that is repurposed wood. That's me. That's that's not going anywhere. Unless it's a hurricane. <laughs> and then we'll see. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, the, the downside is all of the prep time in the wood. But you can't beat free. And please ask, I'm, I'm not advocating to, to just go up and start loading up pallets from wherever. Um, some of the stores that I've gone to, um, like hardware stores, they'll have nice heavy pallets because they'll get machinery in on the pallets. Uh, Rural King is kind of like a, um, a feed store kind of like a feed store they 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 have chicks and stuff um the air conditioner ac heat in place just different store even dollar general i've seen pallets outside of dollar general and they haven't been known to give them away but they'll get aggravated because people just pull up and load up so please you know use your common sense and and uh, your manners don't break the law we don't want you in trouble but definitely consider using repurposed wood uh, the cost is right and all you have to do is find you some way to nail it together so I I hope I've sparked some ideas here there's my this is how they're going to be getting in and out um, I'll be going up and down. I have a problem with possums. So I'm going to be taking some, once I get this finished, 
I'll be going up and down with the slatted wood to make it harder for anything to climb in here. I haven't decided if I'll be closing this up at night or not. Probably so. Tired of losing chickens to the possums. So, I hope I've sparked some ideas for y'all. And uh, inspired you to check out different options. Think outside the box. Because God will provide. You just have to open your eyes. Alright everyone. Y'all have a great day. Let me know what you come up with to build on your own. I'd love to hear some of your comments. Any suggestions you might have? Hey, I'm open to it. I've got uh, a background in construction. But, you know, girls can do things too. All you have to do is have the willpower and figure out a way to do it. Brain power. Alright, everybody, y'all have a great week. Love you, bye.